Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Traveling out of town for Thanksgiving? Be on the lookout for skimming machines at gas stations. Now the Better Business Bureau is alerting drivers to stop before they swipe. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with what you need to know. Well, there's pain at the pump, but this time it's not gas prices. It's skimming devices. Tonight, we reveal what you should be on the lookout for to know whether you're skimming your way to being ripped off. An old scam with a new twist is alarming authorities. Convenience stores and gas stations all over the country. It used to be data thieves placed those credit card skimmers on the outside of an ATM. But now gas stations are reporting an increase of skimming machines. Criminals install the devices in gas pump card readers while the skimmers copy data from your card to a duplicated version. It can be difficult, if not impossible, to detect this skimmer. The crooks can walk up to a pump and install the device and no one will ever know. Gas pump skimmers, the consumer will never see them. Secret Service agent John Gutzmeidel says criminals will open a gas pump and plug in a skimmer like this one, which then records card readers. And it only takes about 10 or 15 seconds for them to actually place this device on and close the door back up. So how can you protect yourself from being skimmed? Inspect the card reader. If it looks damaged or bulky, that's a red flag. Use a gas pump near the cashier. A crook is less likely to set up a skimmer in place inside or simply pay inside or use a credit card not your debit card if you use a credit card you get more protections as a consumer if you use a debit card and use the pin uh, they're pulling money out of your account just like it's cash if a debit card is all you have use it as a credit card use it as a credit card type transaction and the bad guy doesn't get your pin now, skimmers are also prevalent at ATMs. If you report ATM skimming fraud within 60 days, oftentimes you're liable for the first $500 of any transaction. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.